ECU's chancellor is all settled into his new gig. Dr. Cecil Staten spent part of his morning at freshman orientation. He introduced himself to dozens of students and their families. In the 15 minute speech, Dr. Staten told the class of 2020 he's a freshman too and they're all in this together. Staten says he's excited to be a pirate, but one student says that's something you have to earn. An ECU senior was blocked from Dr. Staten's Twitter account after she voiced her opinion about his background. WNCT Zora Stevenson joins us now where she spoke with the senior who says she's appalled at the way the ECU's leaders handle the situation. Everyone knows ECU is Pirate Nation, and after one student tweeted at the new chancellor, she says his response is not how a leader should treat his fellow pirates. Once a pirate, always a pirate. Being a pirate means being in love with East Carolina University. ECU senior Anakin Williams says it's in her blood. I've been a pirate my whole life since I was three. It's not something she takes lightly. I do not think he acted like a pirate. I do not think that he has earned that title yet. On Dr. Cecil Staten's first day at the helm of Pirate Nation, Williams tweeted this. Put a Republican politician in charge of my university. This is a school, not a state legislature. Williams admits she's a devoted Democrat and doesn't agree with a lot of Dr. Staten's past, but what happens next is why she's so upset. I expected him to ignore it, but he went even that step further as to block me. Students can say whatever they like. I have to be the chancellor and, and frankly, uh, be a little bit more responsible. After she was blocked, Staten's bio also underwent a number of changes. It was very reminiscent of how a teenager acts when they get in an argument with someone and they don't like what someone says. One variation reads, social media bullies and trolls will be blocked. The latest version is a little different. I use social media to be a cheerleader for this institution and that's what I'm gonna do and without apology. But that's exactly what Williams wants, an apology. It really worries me that he can't handle even what people may call criticism. Dr. Staten has since unblocked Williams. He told me earlier today he wants to have an open dialogue with students. The two are set to meet about the incident tomorrow morning. Live at ECU's campus, Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.